Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect uh, your Visual Studio Code editor with your GitHub page. Hopefully by now you have uh, downloaded and installed Visual Studio Code. I have it pinned down in my Windows taskbar at the bottom. I'll load it up. I will also I'm going to add a couple of tabs. In the first tab I'm going to uh, show what my website looks like right now and it should be ITSC 1401 github.io just very basic things and then I'm going to add another tab and I'm going to log in to github.com and I was already logged in so the first thing that I get shown is my repository which I will visit and I see that it doesn't have much it still only has the readme.md and the index.html file that we've created so stepping back to the directions here we still need to open, actually install one last thing. And I've given you the link on the exercise uh, that says here to install Git. Um, Git is the uh, back end part of uh, this whole thing, GitHub. This is the uh, GitHub is the website that sort of brings everything together from Git. Git is actually a system process that uh, takes place in your computer. We'll be discussing more about Git later on. Just know that for now you have to install it. So let me follow the link. Uh, it takes me to the Git. I am currently uh, using a Windows machine, so I'll click on that and uh, download it. Git, the program is not very big. I'm going to put this on my desktop where I can find it. Click on Save. And uh, once it's saved, which it should already be. I'm going to go and find it. I'll uh, double click to install it and give it just a few seconds to catch up. I'm going to give it authority because once it gets, gets uh, put into the system, it'll stay there until we uninstall it. I'll click on next. I'll accept uh, the uh, default function here to put it on Git and save, next, next, and next. I'm just accepting all the default stuff and going right through this. Uh, I'll install it. Once again, just give it a few seconds while it does that. If it takes too long, I'll pause and come back. But I don't think it's going to take that long. Without the Git application installed we uh, we really can't do much about connecting github with uh, with your website or rather with uh, visual studio code uh, this is the uh, the bridge between it and the rest of the uh, coding community out there so this is almost done while that's happening i'm going to navigate out of git we really won't be using it the, by that i mean the website that much anymore if at all um, so let me let me switch back to my my github.com page where my uh, index page is this is i don't know if you can see the whole thing it's github.com my username uh, slash and then the name of the repository all of this up here, I wish I could see it all. Let me see if I can get any more. I'm going to click, uh, double click until everything is blue. And I'm going to trust that if I copy this, that it's copying the whole thing. If I paste it, can I see it? Kind of, you can kind of see it. This is what I copied. HTTPS colon slash slash github.com slash my username slash my username dot github dot io so this is the actual location of where my site is in github uh, my index is here my readme dot uh, markdown is here so that's just fine i'm going to go back to see how git uh, is doing it finally installed everything i'm going to tell it to just finish i don't need to run git bash because uh, we'll be sending instructions via visual studio code uh, I think that it wants to show me a page, so since I'm on uh, 
Firefox, I'll say, okay, whatever you want to show me, show it to me over here. So it's just giving me a little bit of detail about the program I just installed, Git for Windows. I'll close that. And now that I have already copied the URL, I'm going to go back to Visual Studio Code. And once I'm here, back in Studio Code, I will tell it to view, show me the command palette. And it's showing me stuff that I've used recently, git clone. I've done it before, but I'm going to do it again. I'm going to type in git colon clone. Press enter, and I get the message, repository URL. So it's asking me, what do you want to clone? And I copy my repository URL. So I'm right-clicking and telling it to paste, control V. And there's my github.com slash username slash username dot github.io. I'll press enter. And then it's asking me to select a folder. That is, where do I want this to be saved in my computer? I'm going to go to my desktop and tell it to create a new folder that I will call 1401-1401. Just, well, why not ITSE 1401? You can call it whatever you like whatever works for you, but since this is where it's getting copied from, from itsc1401.github.io, it should make some sense. And I'll select that as a repository location. Now, it's connecting to github.com, and uh, it has cloned the repository. There were only a couple of files, so it didn't take too long. I'll click Open. It says, well, you'd like to open the, the repository. And uh, now I'm still in Visual Code. Visual Studio Code, and I have an open editor that's showing me that I have the index.html and the readme.md that originally were up there uh, in GitHub. If I click on index.html, I get to see the contents uh, of my page, uh, ITSC 1401, Hello World, etc., and the readme.md, which is just a markdown, it's showing me the contents for that one as well. So if you've gotten this far, great. And if you didn't, if you're having some issues, uh, let me know. And uh, in the next video, we're going to actually make some changes to this file and, uh, and save them and see how it works. And then uh, continue on with our uh, website creation process.